This is Dr. Henry Bornson, the inventor of hands-on equations, with an overview of hands-on equations for the iPad Level 1. The physical version of hands-on equations is widely used in schools throughout the United States. This is the home screen of the app, and here we have a video that shows the program in classroom Students use. No longer have to be intimidated by algebra. Today, a new educational tool called hands-on equations is making the subject fun and easier to learn. The innovative teaching system is designed to help students as early as the third grade. So you can watch that video and have more information about hands-on equations. Let's now go to the menu of lessons. We notice that there are six lessons in hands-on equations, level one, with one review lesson. Each lesson begins with a video, after which you have two practice examples, B and C, and 10 exercises. When you first download the app, all of the exercises will be locked, as you see them here, and all of the C examples will be locked. Once you do example B, that will unlock C, and once you do C, that will unlock the exercises for that lesson. It's extremely important to go through the lessons in sequence and to watch the video for each lesson. Hands-on equations does not assume that the students have had any prior work with algebra, and yet students as early as age 8 and up can understand and solve these equations. Let's watch a little bit of the video for Lesson 1 to show you that no assumptions are made here about any prior learning. In this example, we have a balanced scale. We need to find the value of the pawn if both sides balance. Well, if this side has a weight of 5, this pawn must have a weight of 5 also. Let's go on to the next example. This side has a weight of 8. I now have two pawns of equal value. That means that each one of those must have a weight of 4. Okay, so as you see, there are no assumptions made here about the uh, ability of students to solve these examples. Now, let's say we did example B of lesson one. Let's now look at example C. In lesson number one, the game pieces on the scale are not intended to be moved. We want the students to understand the concept of equality and also to understand that some values of x will make the the equation balance and some will not. So how will a student do this example? Well, the student will take a number at random. Let's say we take x equal to 1. Let's check to see if x equal to 1 makes both sides balance. x is the value of the or the name of the blue pawn. So if x is 1, I have 1, 2, 3, and 1 is 4. So the left side of this balance is going to have a weight of 4. The right side, 1 and 5, would be 6. So since 4 does not equal to 6, I get a pop-up that x is not 1. So the student sees that if the pawn has the value of 1, both sides do not balance. The student can now try another value. Let's say you want to try the value of 2. 2, 4, 6, and 1 is 7. 2 and 5 is 7. When the answer is correct, a pop-up with a trumpet sound will appear, saying great, and then the student is ready to move on. So, having done example C, notice that the exercises have now opened up. This next button will take you to the next exercise. The back button will take you to the previous exercise. The help button will take you to another, uh, the video again, and the menu will take you back to the menu page. Now notice that we did example one, and so we have a check mark. So if you have another student or child that wants to use the program, you could click the reset exercise button here, and that will disappear. So now let's look at lesson number three. Let's set it up as we did in lesson number two. Since it says four X's, we're going to place four blue pawns onto the balance scale. Then it says to add a 2, so we'll place a cube at the number 2. Okay. Let's assume now that we watch the entire video for lesson 3. So now let's go to C. This is the example then that, the, that you or your child would be doing after watching the video. 
So two x's would be represented by two blue pawns. Plus an x, we need to add another blue pawn. It says plus a 4, we add a cube with the number 4. On the right side, I have four x's, which means I have four blue pawns, plus 1. So this is what we call the physical representation for this equation. At this point in lesson 3, the students learn that since both sides balance, that's what the equal sign means, I can remove a pawn from each side and I will maintain the balance. I can remove a pawn from there. I can do it again. And if you wish, you can also remove them by going way up and then letting them go and that will disappear. Now, if this value is a 4 and this value is a 1, well, this weight or value must be 3. So that means that x is equal to 3. Now, we have to do the check. Actually, every example of hands-on equations requires a check. Well, if we try to do the check here, we have a 4 on the left side, and on the right side, 3 and 1 is 4. So notice that 4 does equal 4, but we get a pop-up. Reset the problem to do the check. This is not the correct check for that example. To get the correct check, we clear the board, and we reset the problem one more time. I have 2x's plus x plus 4 equals 4x plus 1. And now, if each x is 3, I have 3, 6, 9, and 4 is 13. And on the right side, I have 3, 6, 9, 12, and 1 is 13. And I get the trumpet sound. And since I did example C, I can now go on to the exercises for lesson number three. By the way, the, the example that I just did here for you, this example is available in the level one app, the light version of hands-on equations, which is available free. And I urge you to download that app. Now, let's go back to the menu page and notice that, oh, one more thing. I'd like to show you an example from lesson six. So notice that this equation is more involved and yet you, your children can do this age eight and up. Okay, and if you have another student that wants to do the program, you can reset the app. It gives you a, a pop-up. Do you want to reset for a new student? The answer is yes. And notice that everything is locked again to begin with. So there is my overview. Hands-on equations is a fun and exciting way for students to become familiar with algebraic equations and to build a foundation for later algebraic success. I urge you to download the free light version of level one of hands-on equations and begin having algebra fun right away. This is Dr. Henry Borenson. Thank you.